Hello everyone. Today we will discuss about acidinosal methionine. This active form of methionine. This acidinosal methionine is an intermediate in the metabolic pathway of methionine. So in the metabolic pathway of methionine, this activation of methionine occurs in presence of ATP. So methionine in presence of ATP The enzyme is methionyl adenosyl transferase. Methionyl adenosyl transferase. So, in the presence of this enzyme, uh, there, there will be activation of methionine in presence of ATP. It requires Mg and GSH. So, in the process of activation, ATP donates adenosine moiety to methionine and it forms S-adenosyl methionine. This is methionine and this is adenosine moiety. So, ATP donates adenosine moiety to methionine and forms S-adenosyl methionine. Here, three molecules of phosphate. One orthophosphate that is PI plus two pyrophosphate are formed in this reaction. So, the reactions that produce, consume and regenerate this S-adenosyl methionine are called S-adenosyl methionine, methionine cycle or methionine cycle or active methyl cycle. So, in this reaction, this S-adenosyl methionine will produce, consume and regenerate or this methionine will regenerate in this cycle. So, in this cycle, this is S-adenosyl methionine. First, first step is activation of methionine to S-adenosyl methionine. Then S-adenosyl methionine donates methyl group to an acceptor. For example, norepinephrine. If this is an acceptor, this uh, acetonosyl methionine donates methyl group to a norepinephrine and it, it will form epinephrine. The enzyme here is methyl transferase. Methyl transferase. And it forms S adenosyl homocysteine. S adenosyl methionine is converted to S adenosyl homocysteine. Then, next step is hydrolysis of sulfur carbon bond of this S adenosyl homocysteine. And it forms homocysteine and adenosine. So, adenosine is released and it forms homocysteine. So, here hydrolysis, so one molecule of water and this adenosine is released. Here the enzyme is adenosyl homocysteinase, homocysteinase and it will produce homocysteine. This homocysteine is then remethylated to form methionine again. Homocysteine is remethylated. So, here the methyl group donor is N5-methyl THF and it will, it will, be, it will convert to N, uh, tetrahydrofolate or THF. This reaction takes place in the presence of B12. And the enzyme here is methionine synthase. So, the methyl group donor is N5-methyl THF and it will be converted to THF. And this homocysteine, homocysteine is remethylated to methionine in the presence of methionine synthase. 
and this methionine again with the presence of uh, in the presence of atp it will be, it will form the active form of methionine that is s adenosyl methionine so this cycle is known as uh, s adenosyl methionine cycle or methyl methionine cycle or active methyl cycle this s adenosyl methionine it serves as a regulator of variety of process including amino acid metabolism then uh, rna methylation etc then it serves as a cofactor in transmethylation transmethylation then transsulfuration polyamine synthesis so these are in this reactions this uh, acetyl methionine serves as a cofactor then this acetyl methionine is an important methyl donor in some reactions for example it is uh, this acetyl methionine is universal methyl donor so it will donate methyl group to guanido acetate guanido acetate and it will form creatine guanido acetate to creatine then norepinephrine to epinephrine carnosine to answerin then n acetyl serotonin to melatonin then cytosine to 5 methyl cytosine so in these reactions acetyl methionine is the methyl donor so it uh, this acetyl methionine plays an important role in producing this uh, melatonin serotonin dopamine etc so this is about acetyl methionine this is today's topic thank you for watching